In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this simple puzzle out of wood using my scroll saw. Let's get into it. Okay, so I already painted the board beforehand um, just to speed up the video time a little bit. The first thing that you want to do is put down the blue painter's tape and cover the entire face of the board. After you have all your tape down, you're going to evenly space and mark your lines where they're going to go. This puzzle is going to be a three by three, which makes it nine pieces. Once I have my square grid lines in place, I'll go ahead and start drawing my curvy lines. I like to do this in pencil, so if I make a mistake, I can easily erase it and start over. What I'll do is I'll just follow each straight line down, putting the curves in, and I'll exaggerate each curve so the puzzle pieces will lock together. Once I get my pencil lines down with all the curves in them, I will go over it with a marker. Uh, the reason why I do this is because I want to make sure that I can see the lines when I'm cutting them out on the scroll saw. And now over to the scroll saw. This is the fun part where you get to cut out the puzzle. So when you're using the scroll saw, make sure you're taking your time and letting the blade do the work. If you push to the left or to the right, the blade is no longer perpendicular and you won't have a 90 degree cut. This is really important because when you're trying to put the puzzle together, if the pieces aren't straight at 90 degrees or relatively close to 90 degrees, but if they're not at a 90 degree angle, they might go in one way, but not the opposite way. What I will do is just follow each curvy line down in the same way that I drew it. And after I'm finished cutting each section off, I will go ahead and check the fit before moving on just to make sure that I am keeping the blade perpendicular. Once I cut out the three strips, now I will go back and cut out each individual piece. And there it is. I am just now finishing up the last cut and we are done. Awesome.
off with the final piece of tape and it is time to assemble this puzzle. And for the final piece, that's it. It is done. All right, you made it till the end of the video. I hope you liked the puzzle. I didn't really get into how I drew this picture. Um, if you want to see more on how I do things like that, just leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. The end.